Hey everyone, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are heading out from base camp here and we are going to go and find one of our favourite day camp spots. And we're going to set up, we're going to get the awning out, table and chairs and just chill, enjoy the wonderful views that the secret spot has to offer. Um, I'm sure you'll agree that it's uh, high up there on top places to visit. Um, yeah, so here we go, we've packed the car, uh, we've got some plans for some some vegetable enchiladas to cook tonight. Uh, we've got the wine box from Lidl, that's, uh, that's important. Yeah, I think we're all set. Where are you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly what we needed. Are we all set to go? Yes, and you're cooking? I am cooking. Maybe tonight we can have a, a chef special. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's new here, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. It helps the channel. Let's, let's go, come on. <laughs> have discovered an abandoned building. What are the chances of not not exploring? <laughs> None. We're definitely going in. Check this out. Stars, aren't they? Oh, like animal feeders. That's right. Let's see if there's any food. Roof looks well dodgy. Yeah. Don't sneeze. So many abandoned farms out here. I guess it's just not viable anymore. Oh, 
And that must have been the farmhouse. Hello, the graffiti. Anybody know what this kind of construction is? Because I don't. Hmm? Definitely not going in there. Not sure about that. it safe? No. You can walk up and film it. It's safe up to this bit. And then just turn around right. The roof is so dodged. I wouldn't go any further. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jump down. <laughs> Ants, are, ooh, Ants are certainly living in here. Yeah. going on here? <laughs> well that made me jump. I just thought what's going to be down there? There's like a giant well. This is a well. Oh my goodness. Blimey. Oh it's a huge hole in It's tank. massive. Whoa. Oh gosh, can you see it's like it goes all the way at the back there. Yeah, well, it's this whole This is Dinosaurus. Oh, you can see us in the reflection. Oh hello. <laughs> This whole This whole area oh, is a giant water tank. You can see that some animals been up here. Oh that's cool. Don't go on that floor. People have been. Wow, this fits pretty good condition. Nice Shall we continue? Oh yeah. <laughs> you promised me dinner. <laughs> So I just spend five minutes levelling up and then Christina's like, oh, there's a better spot. But there he is! <laughs> so we're going to go and check it out now. Yeah.
Well windy. No. Too bad. It's a little breeze. More windy. And the dinner spot. I'm with me. I'll give you that. Huh. I think our, your first area is more level and less windy. Yeah. <laughs> that is where the battle commence. Which spot to take? Two. We can come down here from the other spot on the other side as well. went with Christina's option. <laughs> you had no choice. <laughs> Let's put it that way. What a spot. So no use in hanging about. Let's get this camp set up and then we can start the chill time. That's what I've been most looking forward to. You done yet? This is our 270 degree awning by Direct 4x4. It's a marvellous bit of kit and uh, as you've just seen it takes us literally maybe one minute to put out if we're quick or maybe even faster. Uh, all you have to do, unzip it, swing the arms out one side, the other side, attach the guide ropes to keep tension and there you have it. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know what we've been doing all these years. <laughs> But yeah, it, it completely self-supports itself. It also has three legs and extra guide ropes should you need it if it's windy because if there's a gale picking up uh, or even a strong breeze, you should probably tie it down just to be safe. You don't want to damage it. But in these kind of conditions, it's absolutely wonderful. We can just put it out and not for bad weather, but in this case to give us some shade because it's blooming hot out here. It's about 30 degrees still. Yeah, and it does the job just perfectly. Uh, if, you, uh, if you are wanting one of these bits of kit, then you can get 10% off using the code JKOverland at checkout on their website, and that's, that covers everything. given to us by a friend to replace the old quencher in decathlon and um, really happy with it actually it's it's much more simple just fold out legs and boom done quick release simple is dinner ready yet <laughs>
Mm. Just perfect in this weather. There's no ice cream truck coming around. So. <laughs> it's so hot right here that we decided to have a shower just to cool down. Because we can. Because <laughs> we got an outdoor shower by Direct 4x4. Voila. I think that was like 10 seconds of it. <laughs> that is so cool. Who's first? I think, can I Me. go first please? No. I can't wait. Hey, how's That's the shower? Really good. Definitely refreshing. <laughs> That's a really neat bit of kit. Sammy, I love it. So this is the direct 4x4 shower awning. And we are just using it with a decathlon solar shower. Keeping things simple for the moment. Oh, so know, we might, One day we might upgrade to a, you know, one of those gas heated yeah. systems. But for now, in this kind of weather, it does just great for oh, a that was amazing. little refreshing shower. Are you next? I'm next. Yeah. That's so good. And don't forget, you can get 10% off this using the code JK Overland at checkout. Oh yeah, knocks a bit price down, which is good. <laughs> off he goes. Here I go. It's <laughs> the first time, isn't it? I'll do a shower. Yeah. Yeah. Need it. Oh, it's perfect temperature as well. <laughs> yeah. Not too hot, not too cold. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the JK Overland kitchen. Tonight we are having vegetable enchiladas. And uh, sorry, missed the first bit, but I've chopped some onions, some garlic. That's frying in the pan. We've chopped up some courgettes, some peppers. We have some red kidney beans. Usually you use black beans with this one, but that's all we had. So kidney beans, some chopped tomatoes. I have all my spices, so I've got some chilli powder, some paprika, some cayenne pepper, salt pepper, cumin and some fresh coriander to serve with and some grated cheese, already grated cheese to go on the top. And it's vegetable enchiladas but we don't have an oven so it's going to be more like vegetable fajitas but uh, I think it's going to taste good anyway. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Onion and garlic. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Ooh. And we have the little box wine. Rilo Duva. It is really good. It tastes good. So cheers, everybody. Is it ready yet, then? Yeah, right. <laughs> I think we can get these in now, though. Oh. Get that in there. And let's add some some spice. Start with some pepper if it works. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> some of that. Some sea salt. Get in there. Yeah, that's in there. We'll have some paprika. I like to put a lot of paprika in. Because that really sets off the flavour. Look at that. A bit of cayenne pepper. Not so much. But a little bit. A bit of chilli powder. Give it a kick. And some ground cumin. That'll be nice. Give that all a really good stare. A cheese beef. I'm so hungry. Me <laughs> too. The wine and cheese are so good. But it's grated cheese, so it's <laughs> the easiest to eat. 
<laughs> Can I have some? Quite flavourful after being out of the fridge all the day. <laughs> Food Ooh. poison. Oh, it's got a kick. Lovely. Right, so in goes the red kidney beans, which should be black beans, but they're kidney beans today. <gasps> now we need some chopped tomatoes. They'll do us just right. In they go. Let's get the lid back on there. Righty, well I think we're about there. We can start serving this up. I'm excited. Oh gosh, I'm right. salivating Let's here. Turn that off. Glad you can't see. <laughs> get some of that. So juicy. In there. Then get some no cheese first. Cheese first. Put that on there. And then we need some coriander. You washed this earlier, right? I did. That's good. Very thoroughly. <laughs> no slugs. No chopping. Just just break it up. Get it all on there. Lovely. Master chef. And there we have it. Boom. One vegetable enchilada ready. I think we'll just serve ourselves as we go. Thank you. Oh la la. Check this out. There it goes. Love the amount of coriander. Feels wild. So? I'm going to fuck off. What's it like? What's it like? Just to chop that coriander, really. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Like whole trees of coriander. A tree of coriander. Oh gosh, that's lovely. Ooh. Is it oh, yeah, dingling. That's good. Oh, yeah. certainly. Well done. Thumbs up and toes up. <laughs> Woo, dripping. My turn. Mm. Please, sir, can I have some more? Self service. Mm. Oh, yeah. We had such an amazing dinner. That was absolutely amazing. Jack's cooking. 10 out of 10, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, finishing up um, last sips of wine from Lidl Special. Listening to the crickets on the background and the moon shining over the sea. Life is good. So, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So, please do give us a like. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. It's really nice to have you here and thank you. See you in the next one. Adios.